as Jay Blean here. Today we're going to open a freeze bundle uh, because basically I need to get Fabio Coin and try. I want to do a full freeze squad and we've got them all. Uh, didn't mean to click on Diablo there. Apart from Fabio Coin and the left back, EA sent us over Sanchez for the purpose of doing the squad builder video. I didn't need him yet, but with them being out of office since last week for Christmas and New Year, they sent them to me at the start because I thought I'll get the rest of them then when they were... I can get the Sanchez later. So he's just been sitting in my reserve waiting. We've got the Anderson Dream, we've got the Padinho, we've got the Gardez, we've got numerous Sahins. We got him like five times in a row before we got new else. We've got Almeida, we've got IR, we've got Barat, we've got Bolly, and we've got Norez. But Cohen Trial escapes us. Cohen Trial's the last guy we need to do a force free squad with them all. Um so I thought we'll open a pack. I didn't really want to spend ten thousand of what we've got. On another freeze bundle because we've pretty much we've just got a few days left really of the freeze premium till the second of January. Um and it's pretty much winding down. Obviously, we've got a few days left of the gifts, which hopefully good. I'm hoping the team here is returns just because um it's exciting and also more skill boost. This event's been so so good for skill boost. To say in the store 500 skill boost is at 10,000 FIFA points. How many skill boosts would you guys say you've probably got out of this event? Um, on this account, on my main account, I've probably got close to five, ten thousand, and on my on my free to play account, I've probably got three thousand or so. It's been absolutely unreal. And if you put that into FIFA points in the store worth, it's been crazy. Um, the event at first, we'll jump into the bundle as we're talking. But to me, I think this freeze event's been one of the best year I've done. To be honest, um, it's definitely set a good tone for the year. Because to be fair, New Year. Um, Oh, we've got Elite straight away, but there's three freeze items, so no player in here. It's just skill boost after that. So three freeze items. If we don't get two, if we only get two freeze items at the start, we know we're getting. Oh no, no players in here then. So that's how that goes. Obviously, we suss that out early doors. Um, to be fair, the promos so far this year, well, the ones with events, should I say? Because obviously they're still with the November, which was pack only, and I imagine we'll get it to and fro where we'll occasionally get the pack only events which are this year essentially just gated behind fever points if that happens i guess it's one of the ones you just look at it and you move on there's no points spilling milk over it just move on they happen that's where they make a lot of the money from and then they'll do these events where there's the event element to it and the free to play element along with the packs two gift points okay gift points only in here this isn't happening, is it? We're not going to get Cone Trial, are we? He's only, what, 80 rated? He's one of the lower ones, so we should. Uh, he should be one of the easiest ones to pull. Um, got three gold gift points, so nothing else in here. I keep getting distracted. Um, so, yeah, this event's been brilliant. Like, at the start, it seemed a bit like... Okay, one thing I must say, the Sanchez to get just seems out of reach, apart from spending a ridiculous amount. Um like a high ridiculous amount those two nodes next to it at the start it was like okay a thousand people a thousand skill boosts and 2.5 million coins is that achievable then? is that what we're aiming towards and then it quickly appeared that actually it's the snowflake with the gifts that the money make it was almost like the sanchez nodes on that temperature screen with like a red herring made you think okay this is what we're looking for out of it but the beauty and joy of it is coming from grinding the one stamina event for 2500 coins and a chance at a skill boost for xp and the freeze and all balling points each time i've made so many coins from doing that on my free to play account a ridiculous amount so that's been really really good and positive um just adding those up oh no players are coming are they it's not happening um i do want to hear your comments about what you thought about freeze in the comments below um but to me i've been really impressed with it as it moves on it, it's sort of just got better as as the promos moved on um uh, with the main point of it i suppose we're on like a peak we're on like the we're on like the burnout of it now you've got to think about the first few days with a build up towards it like it could have been laid out a little bit clearer we thought at first because at first it was a bit confused and then it became apparent a few days in how it was going to work and what we was actually working towards and um then we got to the 24th to the 26th when the bonus gifts were coming in hourly and that's when it showed us like oh these are all coming this is good this is nice we saw that they got repeated a lot, so everyone had chances to get all of them. And now we're on the dailies of it, so we know they're all getting repeated through. So I think it's worked really well for in terms of improving your squad for coin skill boost XP. Not so much for players. I do think the one thing that's let freeze down is that um, 
and there's not really been many players to achieve for your squad. Your squad's sort of like, you may have one or two frees most in your team potentially, but um, one of the great things is that it sort of ended up combining with the league of rivalries at the same time, which the league of rivalries was a million times better this year than it was last year. Last year, I took one look at it, sorry, it weren't just, I pretty much ignored La Liga rivalries last year. It, it just did nothing for me. I had no interest in La Liga rivalries last year, to be honest. It just looked like, eh, I'm not bothered. Uh, this year, though, it's been great and it's improved teams. Like That's where your players have come from. It's almost like La Liga rivalries and Freeze. Although there were two promos, they were kind of interconnect, interconnected. Especially once Freeze started offering La Liga rivalry points. And everyone was like, oh, wait, I can get so many more plays from this promo than I first thought. Um, so that was really good. And people have improved their team player-wise from the League of Rivalries. While others have used the coins, the skill base, the XP to improve players they already have. Or to increase their overall so they can proceed further in campaigns to get campaign players. And then we've got the icons on the other side. And here we go. Um, let's find out what we're getting in here. Gold, freeze, a player, and it's Bolly. There's another play hiding behind him, though. Come on. We've got two in here. Come on. Cone trial, cone trial, cone trial. Ah. Oh, that's 10,000 wasted. But that's cool. It, obviously, it came from EA. Um, so thanks to them. Oh, I need to get cone trial. Can I get away with doing a free squad build without cone trial? Um, it's not really the same if we don't use all of them, is there? Because, look, we've got Polini, we've got Alison Jr., we've got Sahim, we've got Gardens, we've got... Oh, Got Nares, I made it black body, but it's just this cone trial that we need. Why are you evading us? Oh, I'm gonna have to, because obviously with the rumours and there's been leaks on Reddit that New Year's is coming, um, so I want to say FIFA points for New Year's. So we need to see how New Year's goes. I suppose we can see how much we need to spend at New Year's. Then the remainder, I'll just spend on free stuff to go and get cone trial. If not, I'll have to wait for EA to come back. Um, the marketing team to join again on the Tuesday or Wednesday and see if we can get cone trial sent over then and then we'll do the the full screen free squad builder because I really want to try out a lot of the other guys that I haven't really touched yet literally Sanchez has just been sitting on meant I ain't, I ain't tried him out at all because I want to use him for the squad builder only um, and them stats look pretty phenomenal especially upgraded I saw um, Halakat Halakat's upgraded Sanchez his stats look insane insanely real and 90 already looks pretty darn good indeed uh that's just comparing to sergio ramos who i haven't upgraded yet um here so he's defending his physical is high on his pace but his defending is just lower although ramos is getting that plus at the moment because of being in position um so there's that to take into account but for me freeze has been freeze has been brilliant um, I, I did I show you him the other day I traded him up to 91 just because his car design looks immense well they all look immense but he was the one because I thought centre mid yeah we'll go with that and he's got some pretty ridiculous pace and dribbling attributes anyway um, so that's there but yeah let me know your thoughts on freeze below I think it's been really good it's almost been like the thought right this is an event for Christmas at Christmas you get gifts let's go crazy let's let the people have gifts um, my worry now is that if future promos aren't as good as this, people could backlash because we've seen what they're willing to do with Christmas now. Will they keep it up? Will they turn it down? If we look back to promos last year, there was always this like theme of you had a really good event and then you had a really rubbish event in terms of how easy it was to progress and get things out of. And it was always you had great, rubbish great rubbish great rubbish and it just seemed to go in turn it was almost like they were always trying to progress trying to find that sweet spot where they could find a gap because obviously their aim obviously as a business with a free-to-play game is to make as much money as they can while keeping users happy um, and they need to find that sweet spot where people are happy to spend um, without people being unhappy. So there's certain events like La Liga Rivalries, like Team of the Season at the end, where they were just pure, 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 pure money investment. There was not really any fun out of it. You were spending because you had to rather than because you wanted to. And then there was events like, um, what's it called? Summer, the summer one. What's the official name for it? 
Um, it was essentially team of the season for leagues that didn't get team of the season. Won it. We've got the badge. It was called Summer, 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 F Summer. Where are you at? Did Summer have a badge? Summer celebrations. That's the one. You had things like Summer celebrations, um, which which was really, really easy. And it was like it was one of them events where you're playing it, and because you could grind out the events pretty easily. It was one of those where like you felt like you were happy to put a couple of FIFA points in to grind out the events further. You didn't feel like you had to. You felt like you wanted to. So it was it, it went it went well that way. Obviously, um, Global Tour was the same. Global Tour was great. And Global Tour, similar to where's which one we're looking at? Not New Year. Where we're looking at. Where's the have we got the logo we got the logos for all of them. Did not all of them have logos in the end? What was the one where it was the the Japan one? Gold, golden. Oh, I forgot the name. It's gone blank. You know the one I mean. The one with um, the golden, the gold, golden week. The film fil film festival one. That was great. And like we were taught, they let us know all the events coming up throughout the week so you was able to plan accordingly and judge exactly what you needed to do from the start to the end of the promo and that was absolutely great because having transparency in events is absolutely fantastic um and it's great i understand with this one it was because they're like guessing you didn't know what was opening that was a bit like oh, what's coming what's not so i understood with that that was great that was fine but um with these it was great with that with with global and with golden week you could just plan accordingly and it was great because you knew what was coming you knew exactly how much you could earn from start to finish you had other events which were just they didn't do that you ended up guessing most of the time you you had to sort of predict what was going to happen and you weren't fully sure if that was definitely what was happening or not so that was a shame obviously um carnival that was way too easy in the first two that one day so they nerfed it like hell wasn't the best decision to face a lot of backlash, which was probably rightly so. It was it was fair to say that yeah, they they probably did they should have maybe nerfed it from a business perspective. But at the same time it should have I feel like it's always one of the ones where it's like it's their mistake. Just just let it ride out. Chalk it off as a loss and move on to the next one rather than face such big backlash. Because that was ridiculous. Um but yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, we had Thanksgiving, which is like a mini weekend. We had Black uh, Black Friday, the Flash Sale, which is also like a mini weekend. This has been our first main proper proper promo, along with La Liga rivalries. And if the rest are like these, I think we can all say it's going to be a pretty good year. Everyone's already a lot higher. It'll be interesting to see how progression goes, because obviously it all feels like we're all aiming. A lot of people are already in the mid ninety brackets, and people who are paying are above one hundred. It feels like this year we're going to go up higher, especially with this rank ups. It's just when does it get to the stage where we're doing is just ranking up players every promo and how does it go over in terms of encouraging us to use a different player? Because when you're ranking a player up like Ali, I've got to 100 because he's fantastic. And if I'm ranking him up, it's now cost me. You put normal Ali in, it doesn't have to be a league Ali, you just put normal Ali off the market. A 90 base, so anybody who starts at 90. A 95 you leveled up and a rank up token. You, to get them to 100 in the first place, you've got to spend quite a lot of coins and XP. So it's like in future promos, do they start doing like maybe like Joker cards where it's a token, but it's a player token. So it's like this player is, for example, let's talk about Messi or an icon. Like, is is there going to be in a future promo where a token comes out? It's like. This token is a token player. It's a fake player. You can't use them in your squad, but they're equivalent of, say, like a 90-rated player, and you can do it that way. Is that their plan? I don't know. But obviously, when we were playing on the test on the test game at EA when we went over, we saw teams could go very, very high indeed, like into the 200s. Didn't affect their stats, but we knew that could be done. So it's like, how does that transition happen? But, um, yeah, well, let me know your comments in the section below. Yeah, in the comment section below. Uh, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Let's see what actually comes out with that. We'll have some videos on the way with that. Try and get the free squad out as soon as I can. I just need to get that current drive. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at Jerry in HD. And I'll see you all later. Peace. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.